Hello and welcome to Top 10 Features of ADS 2023. In this video series, we are talking about all the latest enhancements in ADS. In this video, we will focus on Design Cloud HPC for ADS circuit and EM simulation. Using this new capability, you would be able to turbocharge your schematic simulation or layout EM simulation and focus more on your design work rather than waiting for simulations to finish. All right, so let's get started and understand this new capability in a little more detail. The new capability is enabled by having a Design Cloud HPC service, which can be configured on any of your machine on the network, which then can interact with your internal computing infrastructure, such as LSF, Grid Engine, Slurm, etc. Or you can have your own custom private cloud, which can be utilized by the new simulation service. Or you can choose to work with external cloud partners such as Rescale, which are our turnkey cloud partner for all key side design product. With this capability, you would be able to save time with high performance computing, supercharge your productivity with parallel execution of job, and remove hardware bottleneck with hybrid cloud. And the best part is the user can have ADS or either on Windows or Linux operating system as this service is totally transparent no matter what end, you know, operating system you might be using. Super cool. All right. Now, the license selection is also very easy because you only have three simple choices to pick and choose depending upon what you want to do. With one HPC and EM HPC Accelerator license, you can leverage all EM simulators in ADS. The circuit sim HPC, you can leverage all circuit simulators in ADS. And System Analysis HPC Accelerator can be used with another product called Pathwave System Design. Now, let's see some of these things in action and see how easy it is to utilize some of this infrastructure. Now, for the first case study, I have a very simple LC low pass filter, which again, I'm not intending to show you a speed up benchmark, but rather focus on how to use and how easy it is to use this new infrastructure. Now, by default, when you go to simulation settings and notice the default simulation mode is local. That means you are utilizing your local machine to run simulation. Now, some of the previous menu options have gone here because all of them got consolidated under Design Cloud. Simulation Manager was always there for fast few years in ADS, and this was our gateway to reach out to LSF and other infrastructure for parallel simulation. However, there were a few fundamental limitations with Simulation Manager. Number one, the end user has to be on Linux operating system, which may or may not be viable for certain users. Number two, during the simulation, the ADS session cannot be closed or you cannot close the workspace or the schematic as it is directly interacting with your remote execution host. Number three, the, the simulation which is currently ongoing needs to be completed before you can launch another simulation. So these were some very basic fundamental limitation which are now overcome with new design cloud infrastructure and it brings much more enhancements to overall experience of running remote simulation. So as you can see right now, I'm on a Windows machine and I select the option of Design Cloud. And now you simply type the host address where your HPC simulation service is configured. Now this service can be an internal server like in this case or an external server. For example, here I have a rescale server as well as my internal company server here. Now, depending upon which server I use, I will get the detail like queue types and IT admin can put a limit on how many maximum parallel jobs are allowed on a particular execution host or submit host. For example, if I switch to the rescale infrastructure, now you will notice all the requirements are read again. And now I have different queues and many more queues in order to submit my job. As well as if I want, I can go ahead and run 100, 200 parallel simulation, which obviously will give me much faster response as long as I have the right test case to be utilizing that parallel infrastructure. Now, for this case study, let's come back to our internal server, and I will try to run two parallel jobs. 
Now in domain of circuit and simulation, your files can be anywhere which are required for simulation, such as your S parameter file, MDIF file, PDK files, and so on. While ADS will make its best capability, uh, make use of best capability to detect all those files, assemble everything and send it over for simulation. You always have option to manually configure the additional files which you need to upload in order to run the particular simulation. So pretty flexible. Now, as soon as you're ready, just hit the simulate button. And now you have design cloud simulation jobs. And you can see your job is submitted to the submit host, which is then uh, sending it over to execution host. Now, while one simulation is already running, I can go ahead and open another simulation, which here, is a case of a MMIC amplifier, and you can see it is utilizing certain PDK components of the MMIC process I'm using. So even that kind of um, circuit can be easily simulated. And another thing you notice, I'm running in circuit envelope simulation to run modulation analysis. Now in that case, I can go ahead and fire another job, and now you can see I'm able to simulate all of these concurrently. At this stage, I can even switch off my ADS or switch off my machine. The jobs will still continue to run and the results will be fetched back as soon as I open this workspace again. So pretty cool. It saves a lot of your time and um, make your license sharing more efficient. All right. So while that is running, uh, one thing I also want to mention here, while your simulation is running on in the remote server machine, you can get access to the status of the simulation by simply clicking on this link which will then open a web service page where you can you, you know notice all the you know simulation status of your um, you know jobs which you are running you don't need to really get connected to uh, to ads session so all the simulation properties and updates are provided on this web page and of course on top of this you can always set an email notification system which will keep advising you on the status of your job when simulation is complete, you will have the data display where you can observe the result of your simulation. Now, at any given point of time, let's say, for example, here, I can kill the job, I can cancel the job, and so on. So for demonstration purpose, I just cancel the job here. All right, so this is about circuit simulation. Now let's turn our attention to EM analysis. In this particular case, uh, there are various level of parallelization you could do in EM analysis. In this case here, I'm simply running a parameter sweep of T values. Now when you run local simulation, all these parameter values will be queued up and one simulation will follow the another. So as you can see here, they're all queued up. Once the first simulation finishes, then only you go to next simulation. This is okay for faster simulation, but what if each of those steps is going to take one, two hours or even five hours? So running them in sequence will put a penalty of heavy time investment on my side. Now, if you leverage the cloud infrastructure, which is either internal LSF or external cloud, now notice if I am running the same three parameter sweeps here, all three jobs are submitted to submit host at the same time, and they are being run in parallel, giving me a lot of time advantage by running all these jobs concurrently. The second level of parallelization you can do for each of those jobs, you can further define the frequency points to be swept, swept in parallel. For example, here, max parallel job by number four. In this particular case, this will not only solve these three different value combinations concurrently, but for each of those value combinations, you can run frequency in parallel, further reducing the overall simulation time. So you can see how cool is this new design cloud HPC SIM service infrastructure, whether you are a circuit designer or you are performing some complex electromagnetic simulations. So hope uh, you like this new capability and would like to give it a try. If you need more details on how to configure, how to get license of this new capability, please get in touch with your local Keysight support person. Thanks for watching and wish you all the best in your design work.